You glad the crime in our country we can't get to sell in a piece. Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. People are going, are going. Happy Sabbath. If you don't celebrate that, happy Saturday to you, just the same. But I don't know if I want to see my forward and know I'm come with the latest updates so I could get right into it. The St. Thomas police are probing the circumstances leading to the discovery of a woman suffering from gunshot wound to the head on Thursday. She is believed to be a 24-year-old Clarendon resident who was recently reported to have been abducted somewhere between her hometown and Spanish town in St. Catherine. It is reported that she was found about 7 o'clock Thursday morning. Upon investigation, it was discovered that she was in a battered state and had a gunshot wound to her head. Confirming the discovery, the St. Thomas police shared that she was assisted to the hospital in the corporate area where she was admitted. Her name is being withheld by the police pending further investigations. People, this is where things get even worse. It is said that the abductor is Davian Bryan. Yeah man, that's the man where they take with the two little girl him from Dunga St. Thomas and the people him a search for him from Wakikil to fill up till now and him still can't find him. Him see him on me attack. So the residents them say a him and them no say a him but the police them still not confirm that as yet. Them say them had them investigations first before them start pine fingers. A tent was also found in bushes in the area where this incident took place. What the people them say, them say fresh mackerel and rice cook. Them say one bag of used cup soup and all different type of things in the tent including pots and place to sleep and clothes and all of that. The residents, as I said earlier, they are convinced that the person who live in that tent is Davian Bryan and family members have been supporting him with food items and clothes items in addition to that them even said them find flashlight so at night time him have him light him have everything to him comfort up in the bush up there so it was also stated that they have been watching the area since them in the area I look for the over guard tent and them not seen nobody since this incident so basically the person who live in the tent they ponder run again but the question again is who is helping this man how can one man do so much things in the community and they ponder run for so long and nobody at all not see him not even glimpse them not glimpse him and yet still him have a fresh meal in the tent he might cook food he might get food from a road and nobody not see nobody in the air i can't wait for them catch up on the person who will help you because you see you you're this as bad as the abductor himself an an alert has been activated and a search for a 17 year old tavia anglin otherwise called apple of robert close saint andrew who has been missing since wednesday march 9. she is of dark complexion slim build and is about 157 centimeters tall reports from the halfway tree police are that about 7 15 a.m tavia was last seen on agley park road dressed in school uniform blue skirt white blouse and black shoes she has not been heard from since a gardener who has been accused of breaking into an apartment on Pines Boulevard in St. Andrew on Thursday, March 10, is to appear in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Wednesday, March 23. The accused is 36-year-old Errol Mitchell, otherwise called Kevin, of Russell Road, Kingston 13. Reports from the halfway tree police are that about 1 p.m., Mitchell was spotted inside an apartment. A security response team was alerted and Mitchell was allegedly intercepted while fleeing with a television set. He allegedly dropped the television set and ran and was nabbed by the security officers. The police were alerted and the suspect was handed over to them. He was subsequently charged with the offense of housebreaking, larceny, and malicious destruction of property. A security guard was stabbed to death during a dispute while on duty in Montego Bay, St. James on Thursday night. The deceased has since been identified as 27-year-old Christoph Hibbert of Lilliput in the parish. Reports reaching our news team are that about 11 p.m., Christoph was on duty at a lunch on Jimmy Cliff Boulevard when an argument developed between him and a patron. Christoph was then allegedly stabbed by the patron. The injured man was assisted to the hospital where he died. It is unclear whether his attacker has been apprehended by the police. 
The Seaford police are seeking the public's assistance in returning a man with his family. The man who gave his name as Shaquille Thomas was found wandering in Trinityville, St. Thomas. He told law enforcers that he is of Commodore address in Portland. A police military operation conducted by members of the Anti-Gang Task Force has recovered a firearm and several rounds of ammunition in Patty Hill, Hanover. The 9mm Taurus pistol along with a magazine containing 9mm rounds was recovered in a pre-dawn operation on Thursday. A man was arrested in relation to the seizure. A quantity of ganja estimated at 50 pounds was also seized in the operation. Police have charged two men in connection with the killing of a former hotel manager Clyde Taylor. Taylor, who managed a popular hotel in Ocheria, St. Anne, was found dead in Runaway Bay in the parish last week. He had been reported missing a few days earlier. Those charged are 22-year-old Shaquille McIntosh, a houseman from Salem in Runaway Bay, and Sheldon Flux, a barber from an area known as Lewis, also in the parish. Senior Superintendent Dwight Powell, commanding officer in the St. Anne Police Division, told our news team that the men were charged yesterday. Taylor, 65, was also a businessman from Salem, was found in a Nissan Note motor car shortly after midday last week Thursday in the district called Top Hill in Hampton Runaway Bay. His body was found with several chop wounds, the police said. Taylor was last seen alive about 9.30 a.m. the previous Saturday when he left his house in Runaway Bay to an undisclosed destination. The Old Arbor Police in St. Catherine have now charged a man with last month's murder of a fish vendor at the Old Arbor Bay Fish Market. Patsy Coleman, 51-year-old of Rasta Corner, Sandy Bay, Clarendon, was killed about 1.15 p.m. on February 15. The police say 30-year-old Corey Walters of John Spence, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, was charged with murder yesterday after he was questioned by detectives. After Coleman's murder, the attacker fired several shots at an approaching crowd and managed to escape. Walters' court date is being finalized. All him now, tell me what him a get court date for God. Him no need no court date. After you dash with the woman, you have the audacity to lift up your pie pie half a one crowd. What if you did eat somebody innocently? And just as we are talking about that people, just yesterday a man went to the Sajikor ATM at Tropicals Plaza in halfway tree. And as him come out, the old boy them just attack him, take with the whole of the money and left one right in him face right now the man is at the hospital battling for him three points the whole him face probably tear off we don't know for sure where exactly in him face they'll bullet large but me i tell you know you see them boy i want to catch them officers them not forget no court date them for going around this i go stay for the rest of them life with hard labor viewers and subscribers i would love to hear what are your thoughts and all these stories down below in the comment section remember everybody opinion is valid so not but afraid to leave your thoughts down there we have made it to the end of our next video thank you guys for watching catch you guys next time i'm out and stay blessed and stay safe